Um, I just want to speak about the exports first. Um, obviously, last year we all heard about the nine grey ants going from Ireland to Macau, um, and the 24 that was stopped. So, like everyone here, I've had sleepless nights over these dogs, shed tears. But these events have kick-started an international campaign to stop the export of racing grey ants. As it stands, as it, as it stands at the moment, no tattooed greyhounds have been found in the meat trade in China. Um, but as greyhounds have only been in China the last 10 to 15 years, they've been bred from somewhere. Um, from last November, BGP have taken five greyhounds so far from the meat trade and brought them to England. We've got another five coming hopefully in the next two months. Um, so I'll update you on there. Dogs are being exported to all countries all over the world with no animal welfare law or, or practically no welfare and no rehoming programs. Um, they are purely seen as machines. One sec. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> is, that, is that helping then? Sorry. <laughs> uh, BGP takes them from all over and what really kills me about the export is the dog we take straight from the tracks and racing kennels. When they first arrived, they're stressed, confused. Uh, sorry. They have pure fear in their eyes and they're shut down. They're off of a nervous wrecks or completely hyped and they're bouncing off the walls. Yet yeah, they're so lucky because when they come to us after a couple of days of us singing to them, telling them they're beautiful, giving them treats, fantastic beds, they soon settle and trust us. These dogs that are being exported will never ever have anything like this and they're just going to pure hell until they die. Yet dogs are being exported like the aide Tommy Bolton sent to Spain a few weeks ago. They will never come out the other side um, and they will die where they're going. They will never have anyone telling them it's okay, the beautiful and reassuring them. Oh, sorry. Um, at the moment, Myself and Rita James are trying to get two English tattooed greyhounds from a pound in Belgium. I have offered rescue on them and offered to fund the whole trip to get them back. Their brother and sister, seven years old, and they've been in this pound three times now. Once we get them, I'll expose the trainer and the breeder. BGP um, and Cage have kick-started a campaign and we've been talking to an MP in the House of Commons. We're going there be uh, sorry, we're going there again next month and we want a ban of live export greyhounds to anywhere other than uh, Ireland. Sorry. All uh, greyhounds from England to be banned, the live exports. And um, we also want uh, greyhound racing to be banned on bonfire weekends. And we also want more regulations on racing greyhounds in harsh weather conditions, e.g. snow, ice, fog. Um, all these three things come under the animal welfare law, law and we're extremely confident that we'll get these passed. Once we get the exports of racing greyhounds banned from England, then we will start working with our Irish friends to get it banned from Ireland. And only dogs from Ireland can come to England, not to any other country. There's got to be the year that we make things pay. It's no good us all sitting at home crying, um, getting upset about the dogs. We're all extremely busy, but we can all do something. So whether it's promoting greyhounds as pets, fostering, rehoming a greyhound, fundraising, sharing stuff on social media, there's so much we can do. Also, we need to bring this racing industry down. So you can start with demos, handing leaflets, even things as simple as handing leaflets into vets, shops, companies, writing emails, there's something that we can all do. BGP have just kicked started a new campaign where we're going into schools and talking to the kids about greyhounds as pets, but also about the racing industry. So if anyone wants any support on how to get involved in the campaign, it doesn't matter where you are in the country, BGP on Cage will support you with materials and also guidelines on what to do. Um, because me personally, I've had enough of these toss pots in there. 
So we need, we need to bring the industry down.